<coughs> hey guys, what's going on? On today's video, I'm gonna be looking at one of my favorite acts. It is Sneasel beat him up with Swallow. So let's take a look at Sneasel. And so Sneasel does three times. Um, so you flip a coin for every Pokemon that you have in play, so up to six. And does three more damage for each head. So maximum output 180. Biggest problem, low HP. Um, it's two energy. We're gonna be doing manual attachments. Um, we also have Weevil. So Weevil has that really good evil admonition, just to make sure that we can hit exact numbers. Like if we need to hit 180, then and something like that. Then choice band boom works. And as well, so on the turn where we don't like we lose the beat up. A Sneasel, and we have to go with Swallow. So Swallow basically buys you a turn, does 20, and flip a coin. So obviously it's going to be heads because we're a beast. And heads means that you're immune to all effects of attacks, including damage, um, during your opponent's next turn. And then Swallow Dive, which is also really good because they're all one energy attacks, right? So Swallow Dive does 120 if you use agility last turn, which actually, um, if, let's say you use agility and the Guzma knock out something, I'd actually still use Swallow Dive to get a knockout on something else if that 150 is enough, but it might not be. 150 or choice man, I mean. And two Flipteenies, because, um, we want to beat him up, four of them. And he's like the star of that, right? He goes around Swallow. They're all flipping cards. And then Rangu. I feel that Instruct. Really good. John Tree have three. And actually, if you have an EXP chair on him, run three. Um, if you put him on like turn one, they don't have a food bar. And it keeps stacking. Eventually, you can pull off Psychic. But you do pull off quite a bit. Depends on the game. Okay, two enhanced hammers. If we go for the swallow turn, let's say, we need some disruption, so we need Guzma energy. Um, two shrines, pretty good shrine deck. One black market, prevent the sneezes from getting knocked. Oh, sorry, preventing the sneezel prize. For Ultra Ball, for an Espo, pretty standard. Two rescue stretcher, also good. Uh, Bill's Maintenance. If we're in a really commanding position, we can actually use Bill's Maintenance, and it's really good. Uh, four Cynthia, three Guzma, two Ilma, one Lily, two Tain Liza. Um, Sprue, four Choice Pens, you definitely need numbers here. So, definitely need that. Two Skateboards for Victini, so you can retreat for free. The Absol's really annoying. And 3 EXP share put on Sneasel or Rangru to consistently pull off beat ups or to pull off a late game psychic. 8 energy, um, don't think you need any more or any less because you always need energy per turn if you need speed up. And 1 energy recycler so that way you can reuse all your energies. And that's about it. The base weakness to deck, obviously a little muck. You can't use Victini, you can't use Rangru. You're less consistent with Jody. And your beat ups won't be as good. Anyway, let's go on some matches. So we'll play one match and that'll be it. So the matchups are pretty good. Buzzwell, obviously. Not too good, they do weakness to you. Pretty bad. For Zork deck is pretty good for us. We can use a swallow. So let's say you attack them with choice band. That's 50. 50 damage with agility. And the next turn, as you know, you do 150 with choice band. So then all you need is a shrine. And you can knock it. That's pretty good.
Oh, that's a pretty good hand. So I'll start with Sneasel. And another Sneasel. And a Rengu on the bench. That's a good hand. Hmm. Let's see what we're gonna play against. Oh, this looks like it's Blacephalon. That's a good match for us. In theory, it is because he does 50 times as many. You discard. He has to discard two for a 6 HP penal on Sneasel. Kind of dumb, but yeah. And yeah, looks like we're in a good position. Obviously, he can just use Naganado and kind of sweep us. Maybe. Maybe not. Yep, Swimpy is right. He's just gonna go like pure Naga. Pure Naga knockout. So, I mean, it is possible, right? You can just go pure Naga knockout on us. And yeah, I'm gonna go for Cynthia and get a pretty good hand. Gonna get the Taylor for sure. Back down. I'm looking pretty good. I'm just gonna go fairy swipes him for like 20 or 30. And then we're good. The 30 would actually have been really good because if he vents two. Like thing the balls with abilities, and could kill him, but I can't. What he's gonna do? He's gonna get two. And can knock him out next turn. I can knock him out with uh, beat him up. So yeah. Mm, okay, let's go to GX. I'm gonna try charging up. Just his plan, that's exactly what he's gonna go for. I mean, it's pretty logical, like, if for one prize, there's no point in beating us up with the Cephalon. Like, I don't even, I don't even know if there's a point in benching one. Yep. Oh. Um, let's see, I go for a knock. Totally. Oh, oops, I just misplayed there. That's fine. Um, energy actually will really matter, but. It's fine. I'm gonna get another sneeze on. It's actually our last one. It's a really prized one. It kinda sucks. And those cards. And Illumal. Really like EXP share right here, and that's fine. Don't get you admonition, knock out, and pretty good. So, I mean, he knock us out with the tapu, and he would have had to attach last turn in order to get my knock out this turn. That sounds DC. Sounds DC. And then, yeah, he. Actually, no, he can't get a knockout. 
Because you have 90. But yeah. I'm going to start charging up. Let's see what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna switch. Wow, he's going to tap your lele. Interesting. Okay. So, this turn. If there's a weave on deck, and him for 130. This entire risk is a really risky move. So I'd rather just build maintenance right here. I've seen this commanding position, hopefully hit EXP sharp. That's fine, we still hit the Weevil. It's like two abilities, there's 130 choice band. So it's 150, 160. So it definitely is possible. Let's do that. And then just pray. Kinda sucks. Oh, well, enough to do it. And if 130, and then the shrine will kill him next turn. Or going into my turn, it will kill him. Unless he counters it. Which, never know. Could use Ultra Space or some. But even then, he can knock this active out, which is kind of sad. I'm just going to weave well, it doesn't matter. Yeah, he can actually knock me out. It's kind of sad, but yeah. Okay, now he knocked me out. So, I'll probably go... ...with a swallow. Yeah. That's about right. And then go retreat. And then go agility. And tails, yikes. Oh, that's heads, nice. Oh, it's not. Um, that's not good. We weren't knocked out. Oh, no, mom. It's as if you have exactly, not your opponent. Oh, so we're going to knock him out. I did not know what Naganadel did. That is, if your opponent. We have some conceit. I'm pretty sure we were facing Blacephalon, like. Oh, never mind. We're facing Quad Naga. Okay. Let's just play one more match. Just because that wasn't like. That's true potential. Let's see. If we can get one more match in. And that'll be it after this. For sure. Oh, the funny thing is, I actually recorded this video like 20 minutes ago, but it didn't work. So actually, I'm redoing it right now. Pretty weird. Yeah, because I didn't actually turn on the mic. Kind of silly. And yeah, Sneasel starts pretty good start. He's like optimal attacker, run four of. You're gonna hit him a lot. I mean, oh nice. It's a lightning deck, which is pretty good, pretty good for us. No, never mind. It's a shuckle deck. It's not good. <laughs> 
I was thinking, this is a real weird duck. Oh, no, it's a peeker on the shuckle. Boards. If we can Orangru, we can burn everything in this troll. Yep, we get the XP sure. Doesn't hurt. And draw one. That's good. At least get something. Yeah, it doesn't matter, just, just do it just because. Oh, so, if I'm my opponent, I'm probably going to do a triple poison. That's my prediction. If I had to predict what he's going to do, do a triple poison. Retreat. It's like no choice. <laughs> oh my. Um, what's good? <laughs> and so it's pretty good. That's a huge issue there. I'm just gonna eat him. Yeah, let's see that. Let's kind of afford an L here. That's pretty good. The three turns of shrine is really good. Every bit hopes this choice darn peak on is so strong. <laughs> That's his second tier tops. And this darn full blitz is not my concern. The tag ball is my real concern. And that's also my concern too. Because that really hurts. This is like the annoying version of the girl. Nips isn't eating and the Three on the octave. I turn them out to one. I'm playing the best attack right now. But it's dude. You definitely want numbers here. I want numbers and going in. And we do not get the energy. It's fine too. Because they're going to take an L to this. There's like nothing I can do. Possible match, it's just like it's not possible. I was still in the game because he didn't. That's silly, dude. He didn't go to the tag ball. This silly dude actually thought he could knock on this thing. Well, he didn't tag ball him. That's crazy. What are you thinking? Oh my, oh my, let's do this. 
<laughs> That's what I don't like about this. Let's see, Toy is trying ticks, but Black Market just okay. It's an okay card. I mean, there's gonna something off here. Do I draw the ring? I don't think so. I hope not, at least. Um, let's see. Are we doing some room again? I don't know. Did we draw? No, we didn't. That's fine. Yikes, no energy. Is there any energy in the dock? Yeah, it's a four. I should be able to get one. Oh, good. Well, that's not a bad turn, at least. I see I'm 130. I'm fine with 130. As long as you can get that slow turn. I'm good. Oh, yikes. That's why I really like Shrine, like, honestly. This is so annoying. This shuckle. Oh my goodness, we have. We have. Oh, goodness. I'd rather draw. I'm go for the rest case, which I draw. It's a lot easier. No Guzma, this kind of sucks. A shuffle. And try that Guzma. I just really want that Guzma. Um, I mean, it's fine. Oh, well, we don't have the swallow turn. <laughs> Retreat into mm. let's go into Rangu and pass. This is I really like Shrine better than this Black Market. That's a problem. I don't like this Black Market very much. I might rather just have three Shrine and this kind of hurts, kind of hurts this shrine of the tick. My abilities are rocking. Two, three. I have three abilities. Energy in the discard. Two energy in the discard. What is good this turn? Um, energy. And we hit no energies again. And then, um, yeah, we probably just concede here. Like, there's no way we can win this. Yeah, this really stings. I really need to get rid of this black market. It doesn't help. What is this darn shuckle? Is gonna get a free prize. It's not from damage, it's from poison. <sighs> okay, so I'm listening. Yeah, I mean, four, fine, four shrine ticks I didn't a lot better on this. Yeah, luck market's okay. I'd say not the best. I'm pretty much lost here.
I mean, Pyrom's pretty tough to hit. You're always gonna be two shotting him. And, like I said, Shrine is really helpful against this deck. And, yeah. I'd say probably cut the block market. I don't block markets actually do do. I love black market things to do. And it helps with anything. Yep. So we're just gonna rely on a um slow turn. So I'm gonna do this. Get doesn't matter what we got. Like Sneasel. I'm looking for the one shrine remaining. I'm not gonna play just in case we're gonna have three. You never know. And great, we move to six. I get the shrine. That's good. I'm gonna get the shrine. Hopefully, you don't have the Guzman as a four card hand. I'm gonna hit heads on this agility. As we lose. And we really lost, so yeah, it's fine. I'm just gonna see it here. And yeah. I think that's about it. Um, probably cut the black market, like I said. And that's about it. Thanks for watching. Bye.